Now, I'm going to try the auto. No, I'm going to save first. I'm going to learn what the auto save button is, so I stop doing this. F4. I turned. <laughs> Lord Mary, God in heaven, who is merciful to us, or whatever you might say, please work. All right, so we got no. Left, right, left, right. <laughs> so last time we left off, we weren't here at all. Oh dear. We fought those raiders. I thought I lived. I must not have saved. I didn't save. Okay. Well, to keep you entertained while we go there, I have recently been playing. Hello and welcome to episode, I know it's 16, yeah. of the Patreon, po I mean the uh, the Fallout 3 Let's Play. Look, I've got a, I've got a, an idea where these people are because I knew these people are here from before. And we had an epic battle, which has been erased from the sands of time. Uh, start the episode off with a bang. They're all dead. Today, what have I been up to? I've been playing, well, it's not today, it's it's nine, ten o'clock in the morning. I have a call with my uh, accountant in exactly one hour. So we're going two episodes in and then I speak to an accountant. So I'll be like full of beans to talk to who may exclusively be known as probably one of the boringest people on the planet. He's lovely, don't get me wrong, but you know, he works with math and numbers. But you know, I'm a math teacher, so maybe I'm, maybe I'm just being a bit unfair. So, ah! <laughs> Problem is, problem is, problem is, problem is, I've, I've forgotten how to play, but that's not the main problem. I've been playing Fallout 76, which is probably the easiest game I've ever played in my entire fucking life. So, oh god, what am I doing? Turn that off. Where's he going? This gun is extremely loud. What am I doing? All right, so, <laughs> there we go. I think he, he's realized he's met his match. Okay, this should be fine. It's vats him in the face. Come on. Sweet piggy. Where's he gone? Yeah, so Fallout 76 is the easy... Oh, he's hiding. Oh, maybe the enormous explosion of my rocket that killed all of his friends has made him realise that he's slightly out of his depth. What am I doing? Yeah, bitch. See, I've improved my gameplay by playing an online game. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, so in Fallout 76, you walk into a town and it's filled with enemies and they all die in a couple of hits. But maybe it's because I'm too early on in the game. Maybe it'll ramp up the difficulty. Because um, I like, I came across like a group of ghouls very early on of like literally like uh, 10, what am I doing? 10 people, uh, 10 ghouls. And I just started basically. I had one of the starting weapons, but I had sort of zigzagged out. So I was a good distance away from where you start the game. I'm a bit lost. Um, and I just killed them all without any problem whatsoever. Didn't take any damage. So I don't really know what to make of that. In terms of what I think of the game, I think it's quite good in a lot of ways. Something that I've always wanted. Now, so I played a game recently. When Fallout 4 came out, I was like, you know what I'm really ready for? Um, it's like a game where you just wander around and you don't see much. You know, it's very sort of post-apocalyptic. Actually, I think it might have been Fallout 1 I played that did that. It's that fucker again, I want him dead. <laughs> and I never really ever got that in a game because it was always just, there was just always so much going on. You know, there were so many towns, there were so many people that survived. And I was like, uh, oh, I was thinking, you know, I'd really just like to explore, there you go. I've never used any explosives. <laughs> a empty game, you know, just really relax and just sort of get some background storytelling of what happened in places, you know, um, why is there no one around anymore? You know, because it's kind of the point of these games. You know, everyone's dead and you can chill out and have a good time. I'm just going to check what time it is. I was interrupted by a text from my woman, human woman, interrupting me as usual. Uh, <laughs> don't throw the grenade. All right, so we've got some Molotovs and some bottle caps. Now, what was I saying? Yeah, so it does that really well. Like, you really, it, what really helps is it's beautiful. Fallout 76 is, uh, if you've watched my, um, Skyrim video, I compare the graphics of The Witcher 3 and Skyrim and say they're both two of the most beautiful games ever made for different reasons. Fallout 76 isn't quite as good looking as Skyrim, but it really is in the same vein. There are certain parts where I felt like I was playing Skyrim, which is amazing, really. And so I really felt like, okay, so what I've got here is Fallout's best soundtrack. The music is fucking brilliant. The graphics from Skyrim, but with guns. And it's enough to keep me interested, you know? I found myself... Now, I'm going to try the auto... No, I'm going to save first. I'm going to learn what the auto save button is, so I stopped doing this. F4. I turned... <laughs> I turned off the re recording. Was I recording in the first place? I'm a bit confused now what, what I've done. Oh, shit. F5? Quick saving. Okay. 
Fuck. Uh, pause to record, but we're back. All right. Uh, due to the call with my accountant, this episode might be quite short because I have to go, but I'm sure it's fine. Right, so we're going to get some shit done so we don't have to edit anything out. I don't know what I was talking about. Fallout 76, it's, yes, the music's really good, the graphics are really good, the atmosphere, you really do feel really alone, and that's actually kind of something that I've been wanting from a game for a while, especially one with such good presentation as Fallout, 4, uh, Fallout 76. Um, I just want to go through, I'm trying to get to Megaton. Wait a minute, have I been here before? Have I just gone in a big circle? Or has this place been copy and pasted? Oh no, there's no... Yeah, it's been copy and pasted. There's no one here that would... Because we had a fight in a tube station, but this isn't it. And then there's that door. As I say, problem with this game, fuck knows where any of this goes. So this goes to the Arlington Cemetery. This is Arlington... Wait, I want to go north. So we'll go through the north door. See where we get. Keep it nice and, nice and quiet. I'm all over the place with this. So that's why it's really good. So I actually am quite enjoying it. It's really sad because the the big the the, the biggest uh, I'm going to talk about this in my video, but like the first enemy you meet in Fallout One, effectively that's a person. It can be a raider in like a room full of people. Let's go with it. No, let's let's use our melee. What are we doing? What's my best thing? I've got the such hammer. Let's use that for now. Um, and you have two two choices. You, once you walk in, these are your two choices. You can't leave again. If you leave, they'll kill you. So you speak to the leader and he will either kill you if you don't agree to join him. Straight away, you have to basically say that or he's like, all right, kill him, boys. And there's no way of, you know, early on the room is full of people that are going to just kill you straight away. Oh, it's this guy. Or, um, this is going to be easy. Or you can say, I want to join you. And he'll be like, right, what you've got to do is you've got to kill these two girls. And if you don't do that, he'll kill you. And I thought that was really cool how it was like so divisive so early on, so, you know, every decision matters. And it did in that game, you know, you had to make the right choices straight away, which is why the game, the, the people who made the game were just like, save the game often because this game doesn't fuck around. And I thought that was really good how divisive it was and how every person you met was a significant danger. And I felt like that was kind of Fallout's unique selling point. And what they've done is they've made this world with people in players who in any, you know, you know what it's like playing online, everyone is going to kill you the second they see you. So they've got this really isolated feeling, there's only 20 people on this enormous map, so meeting people is quite rare. But they've made it that if you like stumble across someone and, or someone finds you, you're not going to have this epic fight over the items you've looted while you're exploring the game. It's, there's no, it's of no relevance whatsoever. You can team up or walk away. So there's your two options. <laughs> um, I might get a little bit of sleep while I'm here actually. Do a decent couple of hours. And I think they've really missed a trick. You know, I've played DayZ and I think DayZ is brilliant and I'll go into more detail as to why in my video. But it's for the same reason. You meet someone and it's immediately fight or flight and that's why it's so exciting. Because there's so much at stake. So much to win or so much to lose. Because you could become friends or you could run or you could fight. Um, but it's all very tense. Um, and especially in Fallout 76 because the, the combat is so like fluid. You probably have some quite good fights with people. And so I feel like they've missed something there. The PvP is all about fighting over settlements, so it's like a, you build a fortress and you storm it. Which in itself sounds like quite a bit of fun, uh, but I think it would be more fun... What am I talking? <laughs> if you could do proper PvP and sneak up on people, because it you, you really gets that isolated feeling down. Oh, well now, no, if it good. isn't the little villain from the vault, we've been looking for you. Someone's put quite a price on your head. <gasps> what? You think you can walk around the wasteland doing the evil that you do? Oh, these are and good there people. there going to be someone who takes notice? See, I'm evil, I told and you. now it's time for you to die. I think this is because I keep randomly uh, killing people <laughs> as, I, as I leave. Can we not talk this out, please? Ha <laughs> ha! No. No, I don't think so. I think this guy seems more evil than me. If you ask me, oh, brilliant. Oh, I've got my fucking sledgehammer out. Great, okay, here we go. Uh, another good thing, I'm gonna die. Another good thing about uh, Fallout 76 is because it's online, when you use your Pip-Boy, the game doesn't pause. And I think that's something that the series sh should have implemented uh, a very, very long time ago. Come on, he's right, I can't target this guy. Look, he's right there. Fuck's sake. There you go. Look at those teeth. Looks like Donkey from Shrek. Okay, I'm pretty sure we can hit him. What was that? <laughs> so that's really cool. You, if you're in the middle of a fight and you run out of ammo and you need to change a weapon, 
it's quite difficult to do, and I like that. You know, it's a nice, let's try this. Well, now, don't know why I didn't shoot first. What are you waiting for? Ha! I love it when they go down fighting. God, this guy couldn't sound more evil. <laughs> oh, I don't know. This isn't gonna go well, is it? Yes. No, bear with me here. I think. I think. Uh, I'm gonna need to take some drugs. So what have we got? What have we uh, what have we got going? We have some aspirin for damage resistance. We'll take a blood pack, get a bit of health. Damage resistance, ibuprofen, morphine. Okay, I've got a pretty good damage resistance now. I wanna take some psycho. Let's see how this puts us um, up for attack. So we're gonna take some, we're gonna stick with this. This is quite a good gun. It's gonna get him before he can do anything. He dropped his gun. Well, that went extraordinarily well. <laughs> Drugs. Make sure you do them, kids, but obviously don't. So a lot of people, you know, especially since the last video, have been asking, up is not jump, do you teach chemistry? And my name is getting in the way of everything. It's probably the drugs. So bounty notice captain. Captain Chickamook. Oh, yeah, it's because my name's too long. This guy has a, a shotgun that does 1,994 damage. No wonder I kept dying. Let's put on the regulator duster. Let's put on some decent clothes. I'm sick of fucking looking stupid. And that's cool about Fallout 76 as well. Uh, the outfits don't have an awful lot of effects on your stats, so you can wear whatever you like. And that's nice, I like that as well. It's the same in uh, Dark Souls 3. Most armor is quite similar, other than a few um, environmental effects. You can kind of look how you like. So yeah, we can get our charisma up and a bit better with small guns. Why not, eh? I'm gonna look cool. I have a feeling that with my current skin tone, I'm not going to look that cool. Especially with this, whatever's happening to the screen. I mean, anything could be going on there. I haven't a clue, so <laughs> let's just sort ourselves out, right? So I got this. This is ridiculous. Why do I have such a good gun? This doesn't... I, I keep dropping stuff. What am I doing? I don't look I don't look great, do I? Maybe I should stick with the recon armor, because this armor, other than not really looking very good, both armors look a bit shit. This one at least actually looks like armor. We'll just go with that. Right, so just so we don't have to stare at this fucking thing, what we'll do is we'll wait. T, am I better? Am I better? All right, good. So I've got the best gun in the entire world now and I'm completely unstoppable. Good. Where are we? We're closer to, what? Where am I going? <laughs> Remember the goal in this game is to basically just explore and learn as much as we can about the wasteland just for the fuck, the, the lols. I wanted to go north so that the game got a little bit easier. To be fair, I am quite near the Super Duper Mart now. I just gotta follow the river. Messing around on the river. And then we'll go to Megaton. We're working our way back to Megaton so that we can hand in the quest or something. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Right, let's just go. And I wanted to talk about a game that was, oh look, mines. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so this is going fine. Um, over encumbered! <laughs> Fucking game! I stopped moving because I became over encumbered from too many mines. All right, let's drop some shit. I can drop my red books. That's probably gonna help a little bit. The game didn't save. Right, so I'm extraordinarily hurt. All my limbs are fucked. I'd like to start again, but I won't. I'll keep, 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 keep at it. How many stim packs do I have? Three. How many broken limbs do I have? Oh, good, two. Uh, and one for me. All the health in the world. I'm really fucked now. Maybe my health will come back if I up my rads, but I don't have any rads because I have the food sanitizer. Things aren't really going very well here. Was it that crippled? It was so crippled that now I'm stuck walking like this. I, I think I'm going to have to... Fortunately, I waited so I don't have to kill the regulators again. All right, let's go back to where we were. Because um, if you haven't played Daisy, kind of what would happen in that game is you'd walk around... Like, I played with a friend for, like, six hours one day and we got into this idea of tracking a different player um, who had killed us so he'd killed us um, and we knew where he last was oh god i'm such an idiot and we knew where he last was so we went there and then we started to see him leaving like a trail of items he had eaten he dropped and then we saw like buildings that had doors open and we tra tracked him for like a good hour um and eventually we found him, but because that game was so like unforgiving, um, he immediately killed my friend. We had seen him just in time, so I jumped into a bush, and I was waiting in the bush, and he was like teabagging my friend, and I like jumped out and shot him in the head, and it was like the most, you know, the most fun <laughs> I'd ever had like playing a video game. It just was so cool. And so this idea of like, what am I doing of a game being difficult? 
Why am I walking? Let's drop my stuff again. Oh my god, I'm having a fucking mare, I tell you. There we go. And so that was really fun. And so it was really cool stumbling on other players, and especially in Fallout 76, because there are so few, you can play in a way so that you're kind of careful. Um, I really do think the, the map is so big that it seems really unlikely that you'd get found. Oh god. I can't wait here because these guys have spotted me. I'm sorry about the screen, it's bothering me as well. I'll kill these two and then we'll be fine. Into the water. I have so little health. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, here we go. This, this was 1,000 damage, how are you still alive? 1,000 my ass that I've missed. Oh no, I hit him in the head and it didn't do anything. And there we go. What in God's name is happening? Okay. They're, they're dead. <laughs> now I can wait and we can get this nightmare over with. You can't wait, there are enemies nearby. Oh, I'm so sorry about this. What the fuck is that thing? Is that my luck? Yes. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> right, here we go. Fucking bring it. I hate my luck so much. I'm sorry about all the noise. I regret dropping the gun that I had because this gun sucks. And also, is really loud, so I can't really... I don't want to, like... I have to edit out all the shots. Yeah, let's just... Let's just drop it. I don't know what that gun's about. I think this 1,979 thing might be a mistake. This gun's better. Right, so... Can I wait now? You cannot wait. There are enemies nearby. Oh, fuck me. But they can't even see me. Okay, I'm going to assume that they're over there. And I can wait down here or something. Okay, now that we're going to wait, I'm going to have to stop the episode there. I'm really sorry about all the, the fucking shit. So today we went through a metro tunnel... Talked about Fallout 76, and now I have to go. I'm very sorry. Uh... Bye.